What's up guys? Get ready with me to go London. That's right, I'm going London. I've just run downstairs to get a parcel, so I'll unbox that in a second to see what it is. So I honestly have no idea what this is. Anyway, I'm just going to my Paula's Choice toner. Um, I love this so much. I only really started using it and I honestly love it. I'm so excited to go down London and just see everybody because honestly my closest friends live so far away like they all live in London Like I think through social media. I've met some of my closest friends. Like I swear to God I kid you not right now. Like it's amazing Like it's weak social media is such like an awful but amazing place at the same time because like You make so many good friends, but there's so many bad things around it as well. But honestly, yeah, so I'm going down London today for this event. It is a secret but once it's out, I'll be able to tell you guys um I'm so excited. I've just used my Glow Recipe Moisturiser and Bronzer Drops. I love these. These are so good. Get your hands on them right now. Anyway, now, while I'm waiting for this to dry... Oh, bollocks. Oh, that's kind of broken. Then. This is my new Rare Beauty Highlighter. What can I say? There's only one thing bad about um, Rare Beauty Highlighters is they break so, so easily. Like, I've literally just dropped it on my carpet floor and it's broken. But other than that, it's my favourite highlighter, but they just break so easily. Like, I've got two now and they're both broken. Like, I'm so upset. I'm going to have to get another one now in London. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go in with my primer, my Bobbi Brown moisturiser and primer. This is so, so good. It's, it's improved my skin so much as well. Love it. Is it just me who does this? I think it's so, so bad. But my brushes are disgusting. Like, look at that. This is just my foundation. Anyway, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier foundation in the, same, in the shade Cashew. I love this stuff. It's so good. But I need to clean my brushes so bad. They're so ugly. I do want to make them stay on today. So I'm going to use things that I like want it to like literally glue on my face. So I'm literally going to be setting my face every single step. Like I literally am committed to make this stay on. This needs to, obviously I'll top up this, but the base needs to stay on until 7.30. If it doesn't, I'll cry. You might also be thinking, Tula, what are you wearing? Because like, is this what you're wearing to the event? No, I'm not. My, ma my manager has actually got my dress and things in London right now. So I have to get the train, meet my manager in London, and then quickly go to the hotel, get changed. I, I arrived in London at like 10 to 6. Uh, 26 I think it is and the events are half past 7 so I need to run to the hotel with manager get my clothes on get ready then meet Amy and Naya at their hotel well Naya's hotel me and Amy are meeting her at meet and Naya and then we're all travelling over to the event all four of us um, but I need to literally run from the train station meet my manager run probably grab a drink along the way you know, and then run to the event get an Uber run to the event so stressful day today I was maybe packing my makeup along the way, but I didn't really do that, so we're just gonna have to pack it at the end. Anyway, now I'm just going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour in the shades caramel. Got it right. This, and then I'm using my Revolution brush. I love to look at this brush; it's so stiff and just sturdy. It's good. Right, guys, I need to fix this. Yeah. I give dick by giving a CPR. I also washed my hair yesterday because I wanted it to like be not greasy but like hold curls. Anyone else do? Or is it just me? Because I literally I wash every, every time I want my hair to stay in. I do it like the day after I washed it. It stays in way better. So I washed it yesterday. Hopefully my curls stay because I'm curling hair. I'm talking way too fast. I'm so sorry, everybody. Just blend out my blush. I use the milk blush. Absolutely adore this blush. Anyway, I'm so hot. Now I'm just gonna do my powder. And of course, it's the Huda Beauty Powder. Love you so much. I also cleaned my desk this morning. I did end up cleaning my room, guys. It is clean. It's not like spick and span, but it's clean enough for my liking. Right, I need to let that set. While that sets, I need to wipe my... There it is. I thought I lost my Q-tips then, Jay. I need to wipe my eyebrows because obviously I've got foundation and things on my eyebrows. And then also my lips. Um... I love this. this is one of my favourite parts of my get ready with me, honestly. Like, oh, mm -hmm. there we go. Now I'm going to slick up my eyebrows with the e.l.f. Um, brow grip and then literally just grab one of my 2,000 million hundred spoolies and slick them up. And then I'm going to fill the front bits in a bit because they've died off it from the eyebrow. I'm just going to do powders now and this is what makes my makeup all come together, basically. I just quickly set my face and I'm going to do some little th cute little fake freckles. And to do that, people have been asking me how I do this lately because I've been loving it lately. I get like a kind of like bristled out brush where all the bristles are kind of like apart, do you get me? And then I just get my literal bronzer, literal bronzer with a flip. Get my setting spray, hold it apart from each other. Spray. And then Alexa, pause. 
And then I get my brush and I very, like, I just kind of, like, dig it in like this. So it gets on all the little bristles like that. Can you see? And then I'll zoom in so you can properly see. That's just a setting spray setting, by the way. And then I just... And that's how I literally do the fake freckles. And I literally just dab it all around my flipping face, up my nose. And then I'll dip it in my little bronzer again and then just do the other side. And then up my nose which takes 30 seconds. Let me finish it, I'll be right back. If it gets too dark in one place, like the tip of my nose, I literally just get my finger and I just dab it like this and it like fades out. But that is how I do the fake freckles. Everyone's been asking me for. Then I'm just gonna set over the top of the freckles and then literally finally is obviously my lip. Everyone was asking me what my lip combo was yesterday. So I'm gonna input you some. So I use the Pat McGrath lip liner in the shade sub sub or beer like it's s-u-b-u-r-b-i-a and i just overlap my lips and then on top i use the refi kind of gloss thing okay so that's what it looks like when i put the lip liner on and then i get the refi this is what makes it look perfect get the refi lip gloss put it over the top and wear how stunning is that literal stuff Finally highlighter, obviously my highlight is literally just broken from dropping it on the floor. Rare Beauty, I need you to fix it honestly, cause like look, ow. For my nose, I use this tiny, tiny brush and I just dab it on top of the highlighter, do like a little circle and then just go up my nose like that. And then for my cheeks, I just use this like, kind of like powder brush and just go up. Yeah. And I just do kind of like under my eyebrows vaguely. So like when you're in the dark, I kind of like, with shades off. Does that make sense? I don't know. And then sometimes I do it on top of my cupid's bow, but it looks cute. Then last time, set with my product London setting spray. And that is the look. This is the final makeup look. It's giving it quite like full face, but natural at the same time, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for some good content. I'll let you do my hair. So love yous. I'll see you later. Bye guys.